Boom shakalaka, what is going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's episode, we are going to be talking about the Ethereum Istanbul fork. What it is, what it is, and what it means for you. I don't know why I said what it is twice, but we're going to talk about the Ethereum Istanbul fork, and then we're going to talk about everything about it and what you particularly need to do if you're an Ethereum holder, a miner, anything like that. So if you think that's interesting, definitely check out today's episode. Okay, guys, well, it happened. The Ethereum Istanbul hard fork has happened. Vitalik said about 10 hours ago, congrats to Sparkpool ETH for mining the first Istanbul fork block. Now, what is this? The big question. Well, uh, Istanbul is a fork that was approached with a fork-centric approach where EIPs were proposed for for the fork, reviewed, then accepted. This resulted in many EIPs being proposed in various states of readiness. This approach limits the amount of review times per EIP. So each EIP, Ethereum Improvement Protocol, was done, and there were six in particular. Now, in gen- like just to summarize it, Ethereum brings upgrades that will align the cost of opcodes with their computational costs and improve denial of service attack resilience, make layer two solutions based on SNARKs and Starks more performant, enable Ethereum and Zcash to interoperate, and allow contracts to introduce more creative functions. Now, specifically, there were six EIPs that were introduced, so we could go through all of them. EIP 152, adds the ability to verify the Equihash POW without, within an Ethereum contract. This will enable a relay of atomic swap transactions between Zcash. EIP 1108, makes ZK snarks cheaper, allowing for cheaper scaling and privacy applications to be built. See Matter Labs, Aztec Rollup, and Zether for examples. EIP 1344, adds a way for contracts to track to correct chain to be used by contracts, especially those by Layer 2 State Channels Plasma, to follow the correct Layer 1 chain, especially during a hard fork. EIP-1884 changes the cost of some EVM opcodes to prevent spamming attacks and to balance blocks better. The amount that must be paid for each operation in Ethereum usually matches the computation required for that operation. This change increases some costs of some opcodes that are computationally intensive but currently cheap. EIP-2028 Make ZK Snarks and ZK Starks cheaper by reducing the cost of calling data within transactions. This will make Layer 2 solutions able to increase throughput. And EIP 2020-22-200, we'll just say it like that, changes the calculation of cost of storage in the EVM and will enable contracts to introduce new functions, including re-entry locks and some contract multi-send. So, a lot of changes going on. They're aiming at things to help out second layer solutions to prevent spamming of the network. Uh, by increasing some of the costs for transactions and as, and also allowing for Ethereum and Zcash to interoperate with the uh, atomic swaps. Now, what did, particularly does this mean for you? Well, as an Ethereum user or Ether holder, is there anything I need to do? Well, let me tell you. If you use an exchange, a web wallet service, a mobile wallet service, or a hardware wallet, you do not need to do anything unless you are informed to take additional steps by your exchange or wallet service. So basically, no. If you're holding ETH, you don't need to do anything. This is just going to benefit you. No harm to you. However, as a node operator or miner, what do I need to do? Well, you need to download the latest version of your Ethereum client. And what happens if I'm a miner or node operator and do not participate in the upgrade? Well, if you're using an Ethereum client and it is not updated to the latest version, your client will sync to the pre-fork blockchain once the upgrade occurs. You'll be stuck on an incompatible chain following the old rules and you'll be unable to send Ether or operate in the post-upgrade Ethereum network. Ooh, that sucks. So, that's basically everything. All that is going on what Istanbul upgrade is about. So, for most people, don't need to do anything. If you're a miner, you need to upgrade your Ethereum uh, client. And then uh, everyone else, just enjoy. Congratulations. Well done, Ethereum. Well done, Vitalik. Nice little image you got there. And that's it for the episode today. So, thanks for watching. And uh, make sure you check out the Monarch Wallet while it holds uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and Ethereum Istanbul Post Fork and 3,000 other cryptocurrencies on there. So make sure to check it out. And I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.